Welcome back to yet another quarterly report. Today on Link, I have the CEO of Carbiotics, Christopher Cook. Welcome back, Christopher. Thank you, Kaiser. Always nice to meet you. How has the second quarter been? Uh, the second quarter has been very good. Uh, and I'm very proud of the accomplishments of the second quarter. In terms of the uh, external commercial enzyme, uh, we validated this enzyme, which is a, a very positive thing for the company. Uh, in terms of the diagnostic testing and our link at API, uh, we started the process of rolling out uh, the API with three uh, different companies. And then we started a, a ramp up in terms of key personnel as well. So head of sales, Eric Diener, as well as two individuals sitting on our board, Jonas and, and Christian as well, to build up the process competence. So I'm, I'm very happy indeed. Looking at the uh, numbers, we can see that EBIT decreased to almost minus 3 million kroners from minus 500,000. What's the uh, reason behind this, Christopher? Yeah, uh, this is a natural ramp up of costs as we add a key personnel to the company. So we added an indiv individual responsible for uh, ISO and regulatory affairs, uh, ERA coming on board, and then the natural ramp up and scale up with regards to activities in connection with uh, Carbiaxis. Uh, ramping up of sales activities in connection with the link of diagnostic services as well. And then obviously we built out, we used this opportunity to build out a uh, uh, enzyme development lab to look at new prebiotics as well. And there was a cost associated with, with that. So uh, from my side, a natural ramp up of cost prior to uh, the start of revenue generation in the company. And I've seen this in many cases with previous companies I've been involved in. I understand. And you've been focused now on attaining new LinkGut partners. What can you say about the, this process? Well, I'm pleased to see the, the level of demand, uh, which was not uh, our expectation during the summer. Uh, however, the focus in the second quarter was in connection with the roll up, uh, rollout of the, of the API. And then obviously the third quarter will be the, the launching of these, uh, these partners as well, uh, as well as building up the, the, the pipeline uh, with regards to link up parties. As you uh, mentioned, you have announced the positive results regarding the evaluation of a new enzyme. Tell me a bit more about this. Yeah, this is this has actually been the, the biggest challenge for the company in the past six years, uh, getting uh, a reliable uh, functioning enzyme uh, for the process to to actually scale up the uh, carbon access product. So I'm extremely pleased that and sometimes you have to be fortunate as well. There was a commercial enzyme that we were made aware of. We set aside time to validate this enzyme. It turned out to, to prove to be a, an enzyme that we could include in our process, and now we're moving forward with that as well. But we didn't uh, you know, sit by the sidelines during this period. We, we utilized the time also to build up capacities for enzyme development part, partners and explore other prebiotics as well, which we could potentially also uh, uh, work with this this uh, commercial company that we are using their enzyme. Uh, so, uh, so opened up many different opportunities, which I'm very pleased about. So this seems like a big milestone for Carbiotics. Absolutely. Uh, probably the biggest from the process standpoint. Uh, and then obviously the building of the site is the next uh, key milestone. Yeah, we have the... Uh... The Food Hills, which is your production site, when uh, can we assume this to be up and running? Well, our goal right now is to uh, complete the building of that site by the end of the year, and then we'll do a natural ramp up uh, of the production process as we move into next year. That's the plan we have right now. So the first half of this year has come to an end. What can you say about the remaining half? Well, we have a lot of things. Uh, actually, uh, with regards to, uh, you know, the link at the API, we have the rollout in terms of uh, the launching of the three partners we have, uh, and that will happen in the second half of the year, which is very good. And obviously, we'll see uh, uh, a, a natural increase in revenues on the diagnostic side as a result of that, which is very positive and, and fully justifies the decision we took to focus on on the, on the uh, API solution, which it's, it's probably important to emphasize the rationale of why we're doing this. Again, it's to, to uh, engage advocates and customers of Carbiaxis and therefore uh, build bridges with uh, potential future customers of the product. And why is that unique? Well, we will be the only 
uh, second generation or first generation, uh, be it at that, uh, prebiotic on the market where we have both a product which is up to 10 times better and we have a validation mechanism. And in a world moving towards personalized healthcare, uh, personalized wellness, we will be able to validate the effect of our products on every individual. Not putting aside the need for studies, but definitely um, making personalization something that will be a competitive advantage in our product. Uh, obviously, the completion of the, of the uh, uh, first site is very important, and the planning of the second site. And there, I think it's important to emphasize that we can use the footprint of our first site to build out our second site up to 100 tons. So we won't be incurring an additional cost there. I introduced previously a product roadmap, you know, what will be happening. And, and there it's probably important to emphasize that we'll be targeting products that are uh, a higher price, higher margin initially. And then as we increase production capacity, we'll be able to bring down the price while maintaining a, a high margin as well. The regulatory submission, as we mentioned, is very important as well. Uh, so getting that submitted and the review process going. Uh, my hope is that we can get some IP submitted as well. As I said, we built out this enzyme development prebiotics lab. We want, don't want to be a one-trick pony, so to speak, in terms of having only one product, and we want to build that portfolio. Uh, I also want to make progress towards our first sales agreement, and I want to lock in that capacity in terms of being able to uh, get into a, a, a model where we have demand-driven capacity expansion. And this is very important as well from my side. And with the production of materials, we can also make progress on these external studies, which is important for the medical foods and therapeutics development. And last but not least from my side, you know, I'll continue to demonstrate my conviction for the company and uh, increase my holding as time goes by. And, and that's a natural progression. So whenever I, I'm allowed to <laughs> and whenever wherever I can, I'll continue to uh, show that conviction uh, by uh, increasing my holding as well. So there's a lot of activities that are happening in the company, and I'm very happy about the new people who've uh, come into the company as well, especially our, our head of sales who play a, a key role going forward, uh, both from a sales and an operational standpoint. It does sounds like there's going to be very exciting times ahead for Karyotics. What would you say uh, would be the biggest challenge taking a product like this to the market? Well, there are always challenges when you're introducing a new prebiotic. And, and uh, uh, I guess a, a, a good example is that is there are not many new prebiotics tend to enter the market quite simply. So going through this process is, is very difficult, hence the fact that we're into year six. But we've met these critical milestones regarding the enzyme, getting our first process up as well. And there'll be significant learnings when it comes to this process and optimizing the process and scaling up this process. But the good thing is, is that we have a very competitive product uh, we're targeting and we have a, a, a good strategy in terms of the price point we're initially targeting. Uh, there is good initial interest in this product and I'm highly confident that we'll be able to lock in the production capacity. And from the regulatory side, I think it's manageable in the sense that we're targeting a grass self-affirmation, which is essentially is a, a declaration from our side that the product is safe. And then we move on to more uh, high bar, so to speak, uh, regulatory requirements with no objection and novel foods using our initial dossier as, as a template for that as well. So I'm, I'm confident that we can initiate the sales. I'm confident that we can develop a value proposition where the diagnostics will add this unique competitive advantage as we move into a world of personalized healthcare as well. So strategically very happy. And the challenges, I think, uh, uh, are manageable, manageable going forward as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm confident. And being someone who's been here for six and a half years, <laughs> this is a nice place to be in at this stage. So I'm, I'm, I'm uh, very, uh, very confident actually going forward. Well, thank you, Christopher, for uh, joining me today, and I wish you uh, all the best going forward. Thank you, Kaiser. It's always a pleasure to join you.